What's going on everybody? My name is Betacats. Welcome to a early access of Goodnight Night. I want to thank the developer of the game, Red Ember, for sponsoring this video. Or this stream, actually. This is from the stream if you're watching this on YouTube. Hello! But uh, they didn't send out a early access key, so I'm excited to play the game. It reminds me very much of Link to the Past Zelda. Top down 8-bit. And I'm excited. I'm excited to try this out. So, uh, let's go to a new game. So we did start off earlier, but the game crashed. I don't know why. So hopefully... Oh, okay. We, we're gonna erase this because we're just gonna start fresh, clean, and hopefully we don't get a crash this time. So, name ourselves Beta. Hop in. And let's do this. I'm excited. The music is very cheery. How does it go again? The evil was banished, the princess rescued, the land is at peace. The adventure is over. So it is said. I wouldn't know, of course. Forgive me, my fuzzy memory. Oh, forgive my fuzzy memory, but the following is all I can recall. Man, that's really pretty. <laughs> Chapter 6, the end. The knight fell from the spire. Chapter 6, the end. And then he died. The end. Ah. Oh. Am I moving? Oh, I am moving. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's not get hit. So I'm pretty sure that's intentional to let the player know that the game has started. It's actually pretty clever. Oh, this looks cool. So I am playing with mouse and keyboard, but you can use a controller if you'd like. What am I doing? I'm still falling. Oh, here we go. Okay. You do have a cooldown. You do have a shield. Okay, so as you see, we're moving around with the mouse, and I'm using WASD to move, and once again, you can use a controller for this. Right-click us to shield. This is a little bit weird, but um, I don't mind it too much because it says alpha. Also, hello, web. I'm doing fine. How are you, man? Okay, so they do have combos here. Also, we do have a yellow bar. I think that's our stamina bar. So as you can see, it's probably very important to learn how to block <laughs> and just not rely on constantly spamming attacks because there is a sweet buffer in between so you can't just spam your attacks. The Rain Omen. Rain Omen? Well that sounds terrible. They must have messed up pretty bad up there. <laughs> this is really weird to me. Not fear, the prophecy is clear. I know exactly what must be done. Come. All right. So first little thing. Um, okay, now they're doing it in the box. I was going to say, I, I think I understand what the de developer was going over by putting the dialogue above the head. But I think they should expand the number of words in that box instead of just one because it kind of ruins the pacing a little bit. <laughs> got finally got Dean work after three days. Nice. Once the rain omen happens, a hero shall rise to collect the four hollowed pendants. I believe that hero to be you. Oh, oh no, that that can't be right. Now, now, there shan't be any complaining. I'm a professional quest giver. I know what I'm doing. That over there is a pendant holder of prophecy. Looks like a fish rack to me. Don't be fooled by its appearance. Only one with incommensurable wisdom such as myself would be able to see past the pendant holder's trivial appearance. There's a fish on it. <laughs> I like I like the humor. Ah uh, yes, the sacred fish of prophecy. A foul curse shall strike whoever fails to ignore it. Anyhow, your quest is clear. Just listen. First, you must collect the red pendant of holy bravery. 
Then, the Yellow Pendant of Holy Valor. Then, the Lime Pendant of Holy Agility. Then, the Brown Pendant of Holy... Shit! <laughs> yes! This is great. I'm sorry, did I say I died? Survived, I mean. Chapter 7, Epilogue. The knight fell from the spire and then survived. Ugh. Eh, that was close. What the? A holy diver here? Ugh. Eck. <laughs> hey! How did you... Ugh. Would you, Valiant Diver, please fill us in on what caused the rain omen? Surely you have all the answers we seek. I remember nothing. What do you mean you don't remember? That's such hogwash! Hmm, very well. Then I see it fall upon my duty of giving you a quest. Uh, yes, your quest shall be the most sacred one. Excuse me. You are to repair the Spire's sacred elevator so that our companies may leave this cursed world and return to. Are we really going to prostrate off the possible major brain injury just like that? Silence! We don't have much time. First, we should descend into the Spire's bedrock. Seek there a way to return the elevator to working order. If you need any support, we will be here at the Spire's base. I am Medgard, Sage Knight of the Useless Company. <laughs> and I am... We're gonna call you Jimmy. Let's go, Jimmy. Jimmy, uh, that's not my name. <laughs> Good luck in God's Speed Diver. This is awesome. I'm enjoying this. Hi, thanks for supporting Good Knight Knight's development. Here are a few useful pointers to help you survive. Good Night Knight is a procedural dungeon crawler featuring stealth mechanics as well as deliberate combat and resource management. Your gear may include equipment, which can eventually be all equipped simultaneously, as well as versatile items and potions. Death is not permanent outside Iron Man mode, and you get to keep what you find, but be sure to have the necessary resources to restock up your gear and health, especially after dying. For the most recent updates and challenges, change logs, consider joining the Discord channel. Good Night Knight. Enjoy! I will. Uh, optional beginner grand sneak, mess up your sneak, hack and slash your way out. Okay. Um How do I Alright, cool. You begin! I gotta go pet the dog. It's really important. Oh no! Dog is dead, game is saved. What? <laughs> That's not what I meant, dude. Dude, this is serious I'm getting serious link to the past vibes here. But that's fine. I, I don't mind that. A brewing station seems intricate. Use the brewing station to equip potions. Potions are made with leafy green ingredients, which are consumed when resting. Increase the brewing strength to spend more green ingredients and make potions last longer. Sick. A bottomless mimic seems friendly. Use the mimic to change your equipment. As the equipment levels up, it weighs. Its weight is reduced. All right, so there's a weight uh, mechanic in this game. Okay, so I can't craft anything. How do I... A curses table seems ominous. Use the curses table to activate curses and gain experience faster. The experience multiplier is increased whenever a room is cleared and resets when resting. Oh, I think... This is both... Is this stuff in, like, in the dungeon that I'm gonna be in? A cooking stove seems appetizing. Use the stove to change the amount of consumed food when resting. Eat more food to increase your health past maximum. Oh, sleepy time. Good night, night. Okay. Onward. Sick. I'm I'm ready to do this. What's down here, though? Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> All right. Edgar sent me on guard duty. If someone comes through here, I will uh fight it. I guess. All right, Jimmy. Good luck, man. Entryway. Basement one. Dude, this is awesome. Okay. That's not a switch I can hit. Oh. Ugh. Heed my warning, diver. Do not attempt to use the elevator. It's broken. Alright. Is that... You're friendly, right? So we have a diver with us, huh? 
Welcome to our camp. I'm the useless captain. Nice to meet you, you captain. <laughs> this provisional camp just won't do. If these fountains run out, or our livestock dies, we're all doomed. Yep, this is definitely heavily inspired, but that's okay. We all get our inspiration from somewhere, and this is a really great, great looking game so far. Walking's a little weird, but I'm pretty sure that's to be... Maybe change in the future? Like actual watching animations? Over here! Whoa, this place got really shook up. It seems I've been stranded on the side of the room. Will you keep me company for a while? How? It's simple. Just tap tab to target me, then press E to chat. Oh! That's it! To be honest, I don't fear this hair hole. Not at all. You know what I'm really scared of? Bushes. I saw something hustling and bustling in them. Not sure what it is. Could you get rid of whatever it is for me? They're at the end of the corridor over there. Look for it carefully, and if in doubt, try targeting. Alright, thanks my dude. You lied to me. Ah! Huh. This one. What is this? Okay, I got blue something. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Okay, I I did it. I'm the best, I guess. Um. Hello, diver. Have you come to climb the spire too? Unfortunately, our quest ends here. After the tremors, this rift over there was foreign, blocking our passage. Join me in meditation, and we may one day be enlightened enough to achieve the power of extremely brief levitation. You may have this unrelated piece of equipment. I have no use for material possessions anymore. Found the jumping cape. Aerodynamic cape that increases jumping range. Press space to jump and invade attacks. <laughs> um, I was just kidding. That was practice jump. That was also practice jump. I, I promise. <laughs> He's done it. Oh, music's changed. I've done it. I'm really good at this game. Did you guys see such exquisite skill take place before you? Why is there chickens? They're kung fu chickens. Oh no, block it! Oh god. Um, I don't have potions, huh? Because I'm really close to dying. <laughs> Wait, am I even going to be able to get this? Oh, okay, that's not a block. Oh. oh my god, what is it? Is it a mustache? Found the mask of stealth. Used to move furtively and become harder to be seen. Hold down control to use it. Ah... Oh, that's how I get through the other room. Yeah, this one. Also, can I get a heal real quick? Um, what's the water? What does that do? Am I hydrated? What's going on? Alright, I guess we'll just go through here then. Watch out! There's a dangerous monster up ahead. You could try hitting it from behind before it turns around. What? Why don't I do it myself? I'm not in that much of a hurry to reach the other side. No way, I can wait. Alright, I'll do this myself. I'm a man of honor, and I have a sword. Eh. That glove looks awfully familiar. <laughs> oh, it was just a reverse mimic. Clever creatures. Well, since you're the one who killed it, you can have the treasure it held. Just be careful, if you grab this equipment and it's too heavy for you, you may become overburdened. Come talk to me if you don't know what that means. I know what that means. I live that day every month, every single day of my life. I found the grabbing gauntlets. Special gauntlets with small outward spikes that stick to the flesh. It allows grabbing of unaware enemies. When near an enemy object with a yellow outline, it can be grabbed by pressing E. Handling objects. While carrying an object, press E to release it. Holding down control to lower it into ground height. Press right mouse to flip it around. Plus and mouse. Okay. 
Wait. Aw. <laughs> I was hoping I could pick up his body. Sick. 